I'd like to introduce myself to you. My name is Dr. Gary Solomon. I am a professor uh, with the College of Southern Nevada uh, here in Henderson, Nevada. And I've been a tenured College of Psychology professor uh, for about 15 years. I want to explain to you what this is going to be about, what you'll be able to get from it, and some of the problems that I hope will be solved as a result of my work. Let me give you some background. About four years ago, I started to notice problems with homeowners associations. They weren't directly evident to me when I first started, but I started to notice that neighborhoods seemed to be very flat, silent, unactive, uh, lifeless. I could observe this from the deck of my home that I have that overlooks a portion of the city here in Las Vegas, Nevada. About the same time, I experienced having people come to my door randomly, without invitation, and say, excuse me, do you have any problems with your homeowners association? I wasn't, but uh, I thought that that was odd. And then I would stand on my deck and I would notice it. And at some point along the way, an awareness hit me. What's happening in the neighborhood, and later I would learn in neighborhoods throughout the country, is an enormous amount of stress and strain and issues and problems related to homeowners associations. Now, I can tell you that I began my work looking at the psychiatric effect. That is to say, I wanted to know what the psychological effect was of HOAs. I then started looking at the business-related issues uh, involved with HOAs, and ultimately the political relationship. So what you're going to get from this site is an educational site. To my knowledge, there is no site available to anybody, any place in the country, where you can get a background, an education, an understanding, terms, concepts, and possible solutions to the frustrations that you're dealing with as it relates to homeowners associations. When you came to this site, you had to click on something that referred to the fact that I'm not supplying you with legal advice. And I'm going to emphasize this now for the last time. I'm not an attorney. I'm not telling you what to do legally. All of this is coming to you in my humble opinion. I do believe that as a result of my work, there is going to be a backlash. Because what I'm saying is going to potentially affect the income of those individuals who work for management companies and collection companies who might be affected as a result of change. Finally, my goal here is one of not to produce income from this. I do act as consultants on various problems and cases. There are murders that have taken place throughout the country. There are, is more and more violence breaking out in homeowners associations across the country. Anger, frustration, stress, problems. I have made the conscious decision that I will not allow anybody to pay me for a service. The purpose for this is, is that I want no claim from anyone saying, I too was producing a business off of the back of the tragedies that are being created in homeowners association. Therefore, I invite you to take a journey through this website. It's been structured in such a way that it is simple, easy, and to the point. My goal is to answer every question that you might have relating to homeowners associations. I will also say to you that today is January 10th, 2012, 13. I apologize, I haven't made the date change. 
for at least one year, I won't be having contact with people from the outside giving input. I don't want to be distracted from what I'm doing. But after a year, I will start taking in emails, contact, things that people would like to say. I will also warn you that all of those emails will be filtered. If what you want to say is to try and put down the work, if what you are is someone who makes money from people who are in trouble on their homes and you want to try and say what a bad guy I am and what a horrible thing this is, you're going to be wasting your time because any contact with me will be filtered. I'm only interested in trying to help those who have been hurt.